cool. And this is going to take a maximum of one threads to run. And because I'm just echoing the number of threads that I specified to use into the output file, if we look at the content, it's one. Okay, so so what is this? So now I'm going to add the special threads directive. I'm going to specify 10. So here, if I rerun this with 10 cores, I'm going to use the force option so that uh, this file is recreated even though the file already exists. So if I run that, and if we look at the status, the job status, uh, it's changed from 1 to 10. So now it's shown that SnakeMake will use a maximum of 10 threads to run this rule. And this completed, and if we look at the content of the file, now it's 10. So here I'm not... So SnakeMake isn't actually... I didn't specify echo command to use 10 threads to run this uh, echo command and sending the output, uh, the standard output into the output file. This is just uh, SnakeMake just take, reading in the the information, the threads directive information, and then replacing that in the as a variable inside the shell uh, content. So, so we have this. So now we know how to specify the number of dynamic threads. We can. I'll give you an example of actually using it with a uh, command, a software that actually uses multiple threads. So I'm going to quickly pause the video. So I quick uh, I just quickly pause the video to get these two example files. So the content and the use of this file is not too important. This is just an example. Uh, so I have a software called Plink installed on my laptop. This is a software in, used in the genomics field to do various operations on, on genotype uh, data. So one of the data type is the PED MMAP uh, text files. So this is a genotype file that I'm just going to use Plink to convert from one file format to another file format. And I'm using this because this is a tool that I use a lot, which takes in the threads option uh, parameter to, so the user specifies how much threads you want to use to run this uh, software. So I've got this, uh, I'll just quickly make a new rule here. So let's delete this. So I'm gonna make a new rule called plink. This is going to add, uh, before I make this rule, I want to first demonstrate the use of a snake make function. So it's the multi x function. So in some one of my previous videos, I think I went over how to use the expand function. So here, let's say I'm taking in the wild card, uh, wild card as num and then range of 10. So if I print this and see what this function evaluates and returns, this is going to be a list of this is going to be a list of 10 files. So here uh, this range function is a Python built-in function that evaluates. So it creates a generator from 0 to uh, 9 because it's as including the start but ex uh, but not including the, the end number so it only evaluates to 9. So this is getting replaced by the numbers in here. So that's expand. So multi extension is something similar. Xt and then I'm going to I'm going to say example, I'm going to hard code it, and then I'm going to do ped and then map. And if I print this and run, this is going to evaluate as a list of two files. 
So this is used as the prefix of the file and then these two extensions are being attached at the end. So I can have anything I want really. So this here, you see the example is used as a prefix and then this as the suffix. Okay, so now I'm going to use this as the input of my rule. So plink input as example. I'm going to change this as a wildcard. So let's do prefix. And here, I'm also going to use the multi extension function to do bed bin fam and log. Uh, so the plink command is going to convert these uh, this file format set to this file format set. So that's why I'm inputting these extensions. And here I'm just going to let's do that, and then write our plink command here. Uh, file as I'm going to take in the wildcard prefix and then this is going to make the bedpin fan file format set as the output with the same prefix and here I'm going to say I'm going to use uh, threads this many threads I didn't specify the threads are active, so this is going to be default. Uh, this is going to be one by default. So if I just run this, I want to run example, and I want to create the example.bed file. If I run that, so the plink command read in the information, so it read in the prefix, and then the number of threads is def default as one, so this is being read. So uh, it created the bed bin fam and then the log file. Okay, so here now let's specify the number of threads as maximum of 10. I'm going to force a rerun and now I'm going to specify 10 threads. So you see here now the rule says uh, use maximum of 10 threads for the plink rule and if I look at the command that has been run uh, this is just the standard output of the plink command and it shows the options that were supplied to the command uh, to the run and I and snake make uh, returned the threads variable as 10 uh, e I'm not entirely sure why the plink. Maybe it's this particular operation because the file form uh, the file was small, so it only it just ignored the threads option and just used one thread instead of ten. But but in a bigger operation, um, when you use plink, it it would use the number of threads that you specified. So here, I specified to use a maximum of 10 threads as a hard-coded value. So say if I only only had five cores for the machine that I wanted to use, uh, Snakemate will evaluate that and just reduce the number of threads accordingly. So I'm saying to run five cores, um, but Snakemate uses the threads term but from reading the documentation, from what I remember, uh, just treat uh, technically cores and threads are different. They're different things, but just treat them as the same for sim simplicity's sake. So uh, f mostly bioinformaticians are unaware of the differences between cores and threads. But it's safe to just assume that uh, just specify if you have ten cores, just set the maximum number of threads to 10. So for simplicity sake, you can look into it in more detail if you want, but I'm not going to be explaining that here. So snake make evaluates, uh, depending on how much cores that you specify to run, it will use, it will reduce the number appropriately. So I've hard coded the number here, but you could also use a variable to do this. 
So I can use, I can replace that as the variable. And then this is, I'll change that to 10. So you see uh, this now, the value saved in this variable is being used as the number of threads. Because you can use variables, you could also do something like this. File, uh, config.yaml, and then let's make a configuration file. And then here, let's do max threads as 10, and then replace this as config max threads. Save that, and then we rerun, and you see here, there's 10 cores being used for this rule, specified here. So this is useful um, if you're making a pipeline, if, if you're making a snake, snake make workflow for someone else so the end user might be more comfortable modifying the values in the configuration file rather than the snake file itself. So that is one advantage. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure if I covered this, but um, if you specify the total number of cores to use for the workflow, that's higher than the maximum number of threads. Uh, the rule will only s still only use the maximum number of threads specified in the configuration. So that is it. Uh, I'll just quickly give you some more links on where to find more information. So this is the official Snake make documentation. If you go to the uh, snake files and rules and then threads, you can read more about the threads directive here. Uh, most of it is what I've already covered. There are some things that you need to take into account when you're specifying the maximum number of threads. You should have a quick read through. And you could also, there's the workflow.cause. Uh, variable that you can take advantage of is an arithmetic uh, operation so that the you can the rule will take in use number of threads in a more dynamic sort of way and you could also use a a function to as the as the input for the directive uh, the threads directive so you can experiment on yourself. I also wanted to cover, so in the command line options, there's something called set threads argument, where you specify the, the rule and the number of threads. So here, I'll demonstrate as a last thing. So here, so here I specified the maximum number of threads as 10 for this plink rule and if I say use 10 cores and then use the set threads option and then do plink to use two threads instead so whatever I put in here this is going to um this is going to take precedence over the threads directive value specified in the snake file. So if I run that, if I look, scroll up, you see the plink rule will only use maximum of two threads in this run. So here you can also specify the number of threads in the command line as well. There's one more option that has recently been added. So there's the max threads. So here you can also specify the global maximum number of threads for any job. So say I have multiple rules uh, with different number of threads, but I can specify the max threads as two and all of the rules will only run with here. Set threads max threads i think my snake make version isn't up to date actually maybe it is max threads has two and here if we scroll up you see here uh, the in the configuration uh, it uses 10 threads but now i've 
maximum threads that I specified is two, so it only uses two threads. Okay, that is it. Uh, if the video was helpful and if you have any uh, 